How am I supposed to play this game when there's just babies everywhere? Hello? Hi everyone, and welcome into the Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone DLC. Last we left off, we had boat time. We had boat time. Um, and a very silly wedding. So our first task today is to say, go to Ogierd and to say, hey, we took out your brother. It was silly, it was goofy. Um, I kind of want to talk to Vladimir again, but just because he kind of left abruptly and I don't know if we can. But we did get a letter from him to give to his brother, so I kind of want to read that first before we get into anything else. I've also been told to make sure I didn't sell any Witcher swords. I don't think I did, but if I did sell one, we'll have to remake it. I love this tunic outfit, though. We definitely got to go to um, a cache today, for sure. But now that the wedding is over, everything broke ladder. Um, we have a couple tasks to do. Oh, wait. Hello? Read the letter. Vladimir's letter to Olgierd. Olgierd, my damn dear brother. You have no, no idea what joy you brought me, but the idea of showing me a good time. True, the man you sent me is as fitting company as a lark... For a lark as a hoe handle. But never mind that. What matters is as I joy myself. And how. It was cracking good wedding with vodka flowing in streams and plenty of pretty things to rest eyes on. I miss you, but take your time coming to join me. Live and enjoy life. Your brother Vlad. That's very wholesome. Okay, we did get a diagram for Boots as well. I'm glad he had a good time. I feel bad that he kind of left in like a hurry, but... You know. Master Mira said it's time to go. I want to go also. We were told to go check out something else. The deer are just running rampant. To go check in the barn loft? I wonder if something will still be up here. This may have been a like more a party thing, but we can check anyway. Hide the wenches! Witches coming! We'll take all this. Cow? What? <gasps> cow! If you don't yell cow when you see a cow, do you even see a cow? I don't know how to use a cow. I'm adding it to the duck. I'm adding it to the duck. No questions asked. Was that the cool item? A cow? Oh my god, you guys know me so well. You knew I would love a cow card. Stop, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, how fun. Stealing as much of these drinks as I can. Man, cleaning up after a wedding would be a nightmare. Anything else cool around here? No, what is this? Oh, that was uh, for part of a quest. Okay. Well, is it time to go? Oh, I'm tired for some reason. Not me stealing everything. Okay. Should we go right to Old Gear and uh, tell him about his brother? Oh, he's waiting for us in Oxenfurt. Oh, okay. Should we put our gear back on? I've promised you guys many times now that I need to do a gear upgrade. And I promise we will soon. Very soon. Maybe once I'm back. Yeah, we need to do a gear upgrade really bad. Um, it's on my list, I promise. Not only do I want to hit harder and survive longer, but like I want to see what the other gear looks like. I wonder if it like looks really nice, so I'm kind of excited. We have Raiden. The knight from the fairy tales. Did he have white hair on? Okay, is there a cache here in Oxenford? No, but we can go to one. 
First, let's go talk to Old Gear and see what he has to say. My fists are itching for a fight. Kiki, Heron's got a turn and mix. You that mad cunt who hunted kings? What are they doing? Playing. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. <gasps> we could play Gwent against him? Uh-oh. I kind of want to do that. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olgier von Eberek, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Hmm. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, as common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. Mm. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. A theory was a Dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he traveled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Wow, okay. Let's play a little Gwent. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards. I'm kind of nervous. Oh no, he's a monster deck. The cow does nothing. We're sending in the cow. And, uh... This looks okay. Oh, that's a big spy card.
Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Mm, mm. Let's see if I can get him to burn some cards, shall we? Um. Ah. Maybe. You passed. Okay. Okay. Mm. The spy card's a little risky, but actually no it's not. Cause watch what I'm gonna do. This is risky, though. Oh, boy. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about that yet. I just got fucked over. I just got completely fucked over by that. Wow. Let's go, baby. That was lucky. That was so lucky. I can't even yell because I have a cat on my lap right now. That was lucky. Or I'm just the best at Gwent. I don't know. Blimey, shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. All right. Ooh, we got the toad card. Very nice. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Borsodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Your stranger to the... 
Next, we are going to Basordi Auction House in Oxenfurt and asking for the owner. Look, okay. Okay, you good sir. Oh, right over here. This the Brasodi Brothers Auction House? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian Army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besordi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Ugh, of course. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Oh. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you mm. go, Geralt. Got him. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Okay. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one, two. Appreciate the help. Just note. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Oh. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor school. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments. Honestly? Did I? Smart. He's smart. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Oh. Aye. And I've near seen the purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. I love him. He's White very helpful. Gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. 
Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Mart? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. I don't love that. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedamaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps he could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Oh my god. I want to see what Jimmy, she has. Never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Oh, do we need this? Should I buy this? Viper armor? You guys will tell me if this is a mistake. Am I wasting gold? We have a lot, but also... I could sell my extra stuff. Does have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Um. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimmy. Either she's being very normal about it all, or... I don't know. On the balcony? Oh, here. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? Hmm. 
None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. Mm. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Oh, girl. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. I'm upset. And it's always going to be too soon to hear about Vesemir. It's always going to be too soon. Albert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. I'm going to say I prefer Northern Realms because I do. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. Mm. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Mm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Should we do more? Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might I have a wee word? Uh-oh. What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten oh percent. Okay, fine. Famous for your sorts, you can. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on. Okay. 
I should probably take the cow out of my deck, but I didn't. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to be risky and take out the Scorch. decoy that out. Oh. We're going to keep doing this, aren't we? going on. Oh my god, this is out of control. Now I wish I had a Scorch card. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I still won. I had a feeling he was just going to keep putting his spy cards, so I did that instead. Ooh. Start with our baby girl. Forgot this is the monster deck, isn't it? No, no, this is enough guard. I bet. That's a very cool card. I'm gonna use all my shiny cards first. <gasps> Letho! Is that card say I always aim for the back of the knees? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, of course. This is wicked unhinged. <gasps> he has a Master Mirror card. Oh no. Oh no. I gave him a spy card. Okay, but that's okay. <gasps> he has all these good cards. He's Fringilla? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yikes. Okay. That was... Lucky, actually. I don't want a spy card. I don't want to give him more points at this point.
Trust the process, everybody. He passed. I gotta send out the whole troops here. One sixty six, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Am I the best? For three hero cards in one round. Oh, we got a steam achievement. Three hero cards, one round. Flexing. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have from something. Hexed me or whatnot. <sighs> oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. A poor girl takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Tell me I got a card. Crowns? Didn't get a good card. Well, I still won, and that's all that matters. These contemporaries. I simply don't understand their art. Who else do we need to talk to? Oh, this guy. Yaramir! Uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Um... Yeah. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. What does that mean? What's he saying? Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five okay? crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. Mm. Should I know the answer to this? From Maribor. Maybe if I recognize a city. But I don't know what Maribor looks like. I'm going to do the portrait of the merchant because for some reason that feels correct. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Did I get it? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's mm. equal. Hmm. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends beckon. Mm. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, 
Honorable gentlemen, oh. the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Okay. We're in the auction. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horst Vasodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Oh my god. Let's just bid. Of course Who knows? I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Mm -hmm. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, Ooh. quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Oh my God, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna bid. Going once, twice, going thrice. The Honorable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going, Countess Mignol at 350, going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Hmm. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night Van over Rowe. the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. I'm bidding. Oh, we've a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anywhere? 30 going once, going twice. Aha, the white-haired gentleman bids 40. <laughs> Who will bid more? 40 once. 40 no, twice. I'll let him have it. The bank I want is him about to introduce to give up me. Easily. 50! Any advance on I 50? I want him to introduce me. I feel like he won't if I once, do it. Going twice? Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, take the stupid thing. Sold Starry Night over the Pontar by Van Roe to a proud new owner, the king of Novigrad financiers, Vimy Vivaldi. I can't believe he hustled Lot us. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Ooh. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice, why do I want this? I don't know. I'm just bidding Incredible. on stuff now. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Maybe it'll give me a quest. Going twice. Sold. Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly I don't know why I want these. Useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Geralt, I hope that painting's no source of no. grief. Yeah. Quite the opportunity, that. Mm -hmm. Couldn't pass it up. She's eyeing us. Get down. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afford some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. He's snacking. Greetings, Horst. 
Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's Auction House. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating. <laughs> Name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point, now. Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it is. What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Mm. Do we want to say? Do you want to say right away? Mm. From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not Ugh. hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Girl, it's not that deep. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Mm. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, I. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Damn. Oh my god. Uh oh. Shit. I don't remember how to sidestep, so that's a little Not bit problematic good. for me. Going down. Oh god. Oh, that was close. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. I'm obsessed with him. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Mm. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Hmm. Yeah, you're in trouble now. Okay. We gotta go talk to an herbalist? The fair Geralt of Rivia. You look familiar. 
Okay. The sooner our lads fit. You lecherous halfling that opened the door, you must. Fail to, and we'll torch. What's this one want? A good bruising, looks oh like. Oh, my God. That's it, brothers. Oh you gonna make oh me wait? Girl, for one. Literally one shot. Not good. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. What is wrong with me today? Why am I all over the place? He's got literally like one HP left. Just kill him. Jeez Louise. Cut him in half. Whatever. Give Busy me your chicken, chicken sandwiches. Huh. That was rather efficient. You're welcome. Is that all here? you got to say? I saved your life. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. I'm scared. I'm worried. You better not. A girl. Okay. Wait, should I even should I see if I can get anything else from him? Hey there. Let me have a look. Let me see if he has anything I need. While we're here, you know what I mean? Superior grape shot? Look at that. Should we be waiting on that stuff? Superior vampire oil. We're missing literally all the nice stuff. What are we missing? Vermilion. He never, he doesn't have a... These things were always missing. Hmm. And white gall. I don't know. We're always out of that. Well, we could buy that. Anything else we can make with white gall? Superior cat. I don't really use the cat potion. Yeah, we they, no one ever has like these little sandy piles that we need. Cave trolls. Oh, I guess we haven't killed enough of those, huh? Oh. Oh, I make the vermilion. Well, I'll craft a white gold. But now I'm out of that. And then I can make a vermilion. And then I can make something with that down here or no? But now we're missing more white gold. Oh my god, it's literally a curse. I have the vermilion. The white gold is such a struggle for me to get. Because we're always missing... Oh, mandrake cordial? Cordial. We're always missing that. 
That's okay. Um, yeah. So long. Okay, let's go look in the creepy hole now. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. Hmm. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Okay. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need. Then go our own ways. Try to trick me mm. any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? Ugh, this guy's sketchy. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Hmm, ought to go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? He isn't giving us anything. Literally nothing. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars, but not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! I want to do it, so I'll just... Okay, sure. Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. Mm. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault, a safe cracker, or a demolition specialist. Hmm. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye, but that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Okay. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Toast a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Okay. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. 
Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics, tightrope walking. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list mm. of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man's a climber. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Hmm. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. He's the problem cool. is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. Mm. My plane turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Mm. Hands or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Okay. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. A cleansing Hit the town, mixture? find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. He could also use your fists. Okay. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. Okay, this is lining up to be a pretty cool quest okay so our first objective is to convince casimir to take part in the robbery so i guess we'll go handle that first this guy is very sketchy that's all i know Okay, where is he located at again? Um, go to the mercenaries camp, but where is... Ah, okay. This guy's bad news, but also we kind of can't say no. So... I'm just intrigued. We're just going along for the ride. You know what I mean? We're just in... we're down. We're not gonna say no. I want the drama. I told you it'd end this way. Alright. 
Where's he at? Crushed hearts, stones, and cork. What's going on here? Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, it guts. Ah! Oh. Piss off, then. Fuck off. You'll not tell me what to do. Okay. What? What's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Bought the wench pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! <clears throat> huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not mm. so grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Casim has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging, now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. Listen, I need your help, homie. Don't do that. Let me talk to him. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail, military. Our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose. Then she right up with the mailman? My granddad told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's throtters. Should we just, like, be quick about this? Get down. Now. What? Oh. Coming. You know what I mean? I'm coming. Oh, God. So, uh... What is it you wanted? Want you to open a door, permanently, so it won't close again. Mm. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland stream. See ya. That went well. Alright, now we gotta go to the house where letting more vellum rubbish yesterday. Did we not have to go wait, did we not have to go to the Oh, that was us choosing the camp, wasn't it? Or wait, what was this? I'm a little confused because I had to kind of take a pause after the last scene. As you can tell, it's, it's been a couple weeks since I've played, so I kind of forgot exactly what we left off on. But now I remember we are recruiting for our little spy mission to go and steal stuff. And uh... oh, we haven't been here. Oh, hey, girl. Greetings. Salutations. Whither do you come from and where will you go? Hard to say. Seen a lot of the world and plan to see more. As mm. have I, as do I. Take a peek if you don't mind. You know what I just realized? Is... We still don't have our beard back, and I miss my beard. How do I get it back? Do I need to go to a barber? Because I literally will derail this whole quest to go to a barber. Because I... Very well. Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. I'm literally about to go look for one because while Geralt clean shaven's okay, I prefer the beard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. 
Aye, oh, it is. Let it. Sacked. I'm still Lovely natural in the planet. Orders say not living souls to leave without part. Looking for a barber? Well, you found one. Welcome. I'll plow and shave the gentleman's noggin for a half price. Give me a haircut. As uh, long as your hands aren't too shaky. Okay, I think we want this one a full beard trim short. I think if we just kept meditating, the beard would grow in, but I would like a beard now. Is that it? A bushy goatee and a short mustache? Is this it? Why does it look different? Is it because he's got to sleep more? And I'm sorry, I love his hair so like that. I'm gonna keep it like that. That's my favorite. But you guys let me know if you have a favorite haircut. Yes, I did derail this entire quest for a beard. What will become of us? And I think, I think it makes sense. How am I supposed to quest if I don't look good? You know what I mean? But you guys let me know. Do you keep a beard on Geralt? Do you clean shave? Do you change the hair? Do you leave it classic? I do like the ponytail. I do. I like the classic a lot, but the ponytail is cute. Okay, now we can continue. I've done better to burn the blasted barn to the ground. Door won't hold the beasts in for long. What's here? Hello? What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's saying. true, we could. Barn's full up with some manner of beast. Barred them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Yeah, help. Fine. I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! Oh. What are they eating? Not your lucky day. The ghouls. Why are they pulsing like that? Got him. It's done. Open the door. It will take all this, though. Whose remains is this? Corpses. That's what drew the ghouls. I might need some of this stuff for my potion crafting, so... You know. Use that barn as a cemetery? Uh, no. Why'd you ask? Found human remains inside. Several sets. They're what drew the necrophages. Uh, they was... they was bandits. When it was just coin they took, we lived and let live, so to speak. But when they dragged Hedy to the barn, we wouldn't take no more. Grabbed our pitchforks and... Well, you've seen how it ended. Oh. Next time you kill someone, bury the bodies. Deep. Need to take care of these, too. Or they'll attract more corpse eaters. We'll mm -hmm. do it. Thank you, Master Witcher. Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay. And thanks for your help. Farewell. I gotcha. How much, uh? 20 crowns. Listen, it's 20 more than we had. Okay, let's find out where Hugo Hoff is hiding, shall we? You know, I'm gonna loot all this shit, too. Alchemist powder. Hey, we need that, don't we? Isn't this an area where we killed a priest? It feels like it is. That was quite some time ago, though. Quick. Where are they cowering from? Hello? 
Oh. You want me to deal with this? You want daddy to take care of this? Ah! Ah! We are not going to talk about how I got way too cocky in that fight and thought I could be fine without healing. The thing about me is, is for some reason, I never like to use potions. I like to hoard stuff. I don't use potions. I'm just a full on goblin. And I'm like this in every game. You know, in Pokemon, I would hoard all my potions till I got the Elite Four. But like, what are you going to do with a, a 20 HP potion? Nothing. I have materials. I can make my things. Hmm. <laughs> well, we're going back. Lord of mercy. I don't want to die. Stealing my life. I don't want to die. Come here. Come here. I don't want to die. Keeps walking in and out. Just quick enough. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. to end this. Ah! Come here. There we go. No one saw the other thing. Hey, I saved y'all. Are you alive? Did you live? They were screaming. They didn't want to die. Did y'all live? You good? Well, I think so. Okay. I do need to repair my sword. Because, oopsies. Uh, what are these? Oh, it says empire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we're looking for Hugo. Am I going the right way? No. Uh, got an itch needs me sap. I'm going the wrong way again. Getting lost with red. Look at these babies! Oh my god, so cute! So cute! So naughty! Okay, let's keep going. Don't get distracted! Don't get distracted by cute babies. There's no time. <gasps> How am I supposed to play this game when there's just babies everywhere? Hello! Oh my god. Okay. What's going then on here? Let's return their coin to them. What would you return? We've spent it all. Every last copper. Well, do you want to be my boy? Oh, yeah. You know, find more. Okay. Of course, that's your solution. That's always your solution. A killer prowls the city, but you're not scared, are you? Oh, this is girly pop. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. 
Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine. Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself. Did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. Not a soul can be trusted. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? You guys know I'm not the best with the crossbow, but of course I'm gonna do it. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Mm -hmm. Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. All right. Do or die. Well, is, Let's begin. Is this gonna that auto aim? I like a man who boldly dares. Damn the risks. Come. Yes, I agree. And now, good folk, the highlight of our program, standing before you. Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's me. Wow, Prime! Mm-hmm. What? But I... Shh, Geralt. Grab your crossbow and get to work. Oh, my God. Are we ready? Well, what's the hold? Are you cross-eyed or what? What if I shot him in the head on accident? Like, that would be traumatic. Where's the other one? Oh, I got him all. We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. man didn't shoot the elf that would have been brilliant you know I'm not gonna lie, I almost I did doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece fine work Geralt I wasn't really being that careful with the headshot well, I almost hit him one performance down what of the next I think I was supposed to pick between certain people to help me on this job and I don't remember the ones we've already picked we picked the bomb guy we needed him so I guess we're picking her herbalist has a hut near here ring a bell Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. She's a good Till pick. later, Witcher. Mm-hmm. In far corners, more sons behind. Prepare a cleansing tales. mixture that will weaken the Redanian soldiers. Okay. Is that just going to be in my alchemy? Is that going to be a quest thing? Cleansing mixture. Use Witcher senses to eavesdrop on Redane soldiers patrolling Oxenfur to find out where to find out where to find their cook. Okay. 
Oh, because we're gonna put it in the in the food. I got you. Don't mind me. What do you have to say? That uh, horse for Sylvie. You got a daughter? Why do you ask? Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. Hmm. Okay. Where are we going? Oh. Winds howling. What do you have to say? Mm, fish chowder for supper the day. That's true. Oh. Who told you? No one. No one came through the western gate the morn. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook lad. Cook lad, that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, uh, aye. Oh, my bad, too close. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Okay. Excuse me. A little fish and gruel? That sounds very... Well, there's protein in there. Oh! So. In a hurry! What's going on here? But I won't plow you with me mouth, sweetheart. Ah! Leave her alone. Why is that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable. Excuse me? But you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. What? Let the woman go. Then we can flirt. <laughs> Look at that! Vagrant Mutt's giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up. Oh, girl. Fucking come on. Time to end this. Don't feel good about that. You all right? Fine. Truth be told, I'd have managed on my own. But thank you. You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job done. Damn it, let's go. Walk you home? Hey now. I'm grateful, sure. But I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm. In that case, yes. Come. Okay. Master Witcher. Do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually oh. for pay. Phew, I was afraid you were abnormal. What does that mean? Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Um. Might be right, but these days, better safe than sorry. Take care of yourself. Oh, he's so charming. Are you a witcher? What a charming man. The eternal flame will burn away our sins. Is this the dock? What the hell happened here? Oh, during the day. Oh, is this him? Hey. Must be the cook. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. 
pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Part of me wants to be generous and be like, I have the money, here you go. But the other part of me is like, girl, I don't have time for this. Asking a lot, <laughs> too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye, I'll help. Out to kindness. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? Go to the herbalist hut to prepare for the robbery. Okay, let's go in here and see what's going on. Hey, hello. Excuse me. Just gotta jump in here. Oopsies. Sorry, girl. And mighty miss be midst the unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist, it's no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Eveline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that. Damn. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures, traps, any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of saltpeter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. Aye, but you could. Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get to work. All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about masks? Got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With my own hands. If you're so damned scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together, now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. I'm ready. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of 
course I am. I'm a little interested. Mm hmm. Three, two, oh God. one. Are we going to be timed for real? It's clear. On your way. There she goes. Oh my god. Plowing city foul. Shite all over again. <coughs> what? <coughs> I'll show you. <laughs> okay. Patrol's turning round. We've one minute. Move! Damn. I should have blown myself a bit. Prick and all. Obsessed with him. <laughs> My upper body could never scale the side of a building. Sorry. I don't think I could do it. <gasps> oh my god. Careful. Ooh. said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. <laughs> this is no time to argue. Yeah. Um. Gotta agree. Backing out's not an option anymore. Need to see this through, whatever happens. Hallowed words. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. We did say that. Wooden sword? I like that. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. It's because this isn't Geralt's M.O. He doesn't do stuff like this, so he doesn't want to just be killing people for nothing. Oh. What else can I loot? Letters must be old. String seems to say so, too. <gasps> A love letter? <gasps> My love, don't give up. There is still a week until we you're to wed in Ophi the Ophiri. Is this... Is this old geared and stuff? The Ophiri? My love, don't give up. There is still a week until you are to wed the Ophiri. I think I'll think of something. Perhaps I'll get the coin by then. Perhaps my tears will convince your father. Perhaps the gods will hear our prayers. Or if not, they, perhaps some devil will. If nothing else... I'll crash into the temple through a window and swoop you from the altar. We'll flee far, far away to the edge of the world where no one will find us. You're right of sadness. I feel this way too. I think of you constantly. Of how we sat at the alchemy until dawn, nursing a bottle of wine, and you traced our dream house on this, and you traced our dream house in the sawdust on the floor. 
of how we dangled our feet in the water by the dock and you sang those broady songs and made me laugh and laugh. I kiss the medallion carrying your portrait before I fall asleep and as soon as I wake. I swear in all that is holy we shall be together forever. Be brave. I love you. This is... This is all geared right? Oh my god. It was true love. That's sad. What else can I find in here? Need some more loot. Mm hmm? Mm, totally suffering fuck. Okay. What else is up here? What else can I have? Clear for now. Knock on wood. Dude. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. No, now. The vault. <gasps> yes, but we shall raise the starting pr Watch this. Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said... I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Okay. Oh, Wolf Pop's got tea! Oh my god. Can y'all let Shut me up, get you? I did say no one dies. But like... Oh my god, okay, what if I do this? This is taking forever! Oh my god. <laughs> no one dies. I set them on fire. Stop him! He's not to flee! Get him, girl. Killing. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Well, shoot. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, oh, master! God. On the count of three, we go in. One, two, ah! Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now. We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Um. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. Oh my god. You know I cannot do that. You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want. I beg you. <laughs> oh, Calm God. yourself. No one is to be harmed. Clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain. Reach an agreement. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. So tell me a joke. Any joke. So long as it's funny. Excuse me? This is no- Got a tip for you. No charge. Every tip after this will cost you. In the blood of an innocent. When talking to someone who's holding hostages, never use the words no, not, but, or maybe. Understand, Reginald? My name's not Reg. <laughs> You're not supposed to say not! Huh, see that? This one gets the idea. And if I want to call you Reginald, I'll call you Reginald. Clear? <laughs> yes. Clear. Excellent. Damn right. So let me hear the joke, Reginald. And believe me, you better hope it makes me laugh. Uh, a, li a little elfin runs up to, to his mother, calling Poop Poop. She, she says, 
It's over there, love. Cut yourself a slice. No idea what that was. Oh. Well. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. All right. Chill. 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 This is tough. Okay, he's definitely killing them. I'm over here just chipping away. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Reginald. What? Lost your nerve? This is out of control. Is it because I'm supposed to be getting more parries? Is that what we're doing here? I hate fighting shields. Oh my god, they're so annoying. I hate fighting shields. Damn. Oh my god. I don't know an easier way than using signs on them. Ah! I'm just gonna use this guy for practice at this point. You're annoying, actually. Hey, give me my real sword. <laughs> I mean, you could. Damn it, explosion triggered that fight. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Yeah, Where's let's Evelyn? go. Just fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. All right. A mighty fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, I, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. Oh. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with Boy, no time. Alright. I gotta go first. Can I steal all this stuff? Is this a good idea? Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. They're in the vault. Lock themselves in. I'm going to loot everything. Come on! Look for the spare key. You'll hang for this, all of you. I just need all your drinks and all your snacks. I don't even know what I use half of the stuff for. Surrender. You don't stand a chance. No, I'm good though. Thank you. Took all these necklaces. You'll pay for this. E. I just like trinkets. Thank you. Okay. Are we ready? You don't know who you're fucking with. Hmm. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You old? Greetings, brother. Ooh. Been years. Oh. Stun me stupid and slap me happy. Yeah, same. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. 
for betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left mm. the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you oh, want. Oh god, they're gonna make me pick. I'm gonna... I am hired by... Is it Uwald? But Geralt doesn't usually get involved with family drama, especially. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. Not I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass. Yeah, I'm not oh, worried. Words, mate. Adam. For the king. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all wanna y'all wanna go? Oh my god, I hate shield. Get up! Slice them! Slice the ball back! Got that one out of here. Oh, can he not be CC'd? Oh. Is his brother gonna do it? This is some this is some family drama I don't I'd know if we want to be involved to in. This elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. Oh. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me all that you owe. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Did we just end it? Fifteen yep. years in the sewers, begging like a beast, and you the cheek. To plead. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> Take that. Girl. Not the shrug, like, it's whatever. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, it houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Gents, gents, keep calm. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, we're even. 
Now, no, Maxwell I was on your side. Sense. If you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. Is it because I said I didn't want to get involved in family affairs? Or is this my... Did I cause this? I don't want to kill him. Even though he is very unhinged. But I love an unhinged character. So I kind of want to see where this is going. We could figure this out, maybe? I could drop you easily. But maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this Without out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Okay. Let's go, girl. Oof. That's a load off my prick. Give me the damn casket and let's get out of here. As you wish. I didn't, I didn't want to shake hands, huh? Carol, you savage. I'm obsessed. Hmm. Not to be dramatic, but can I take anything else here? Like, what else can I have? Viper Venomous Steel Sword? <gasps> okay, I'm not leaving here until I loot everything now. Y'all can't show me that and it's okay not to loot around. A lot of gold stuff. Obviously, it's a vault. What am I thinking? Of course, there's gold stuff everywhere. I mean, I might as well get up in here. Are you guys proud of me? I'm going to sell all this stuff. Oh my god. What are these? Or of the Flaming Rose? Please don't be over encumbered. I want to keep all this. Hi, Geralt. Oh, we're over encumbered. Literally what I said. Oops. Oh, not that. Um, I probably can throw out some like. Is that everything? All right. Well, all right. Let's head out. Is there anything else I can have? Oopsies. This guy's super unhinged. Oh, hey. No, no, no. Go back up. Oh man, we are gonna have to visit a merchant soon. I'll get the door. Don't worry. Are we back in the hideout? Oh my god. I still understand why we couldn't go in from out, but whatever. Like, why couldn't we use the secret to begin with? Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. <clears throat> Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, you old. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, play our moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> yeah.
In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. Carol looks good in that outfit. Hmm. Wow. That is an interesting drama. This is where I am going to end this episode here. The heist, incredible. Um, I love how every single time I think this game's not going to surprise me, it does. Thank you all so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what happens next. We're going to be bringing this house box over to Olgeard because now we have hung out with his brother and we're bringing him the house that he wanted. If you ever want to hang out me while I'm live, I do also stream over on Twitch. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!